And today, you can go on, on YouTube right now and type in um, winter fertilizer applications or dormant feeding. Type that into YouTube. Dormant feeding turf grass. And you'll see video after video of goofballs recommending the application of nitrogen and phosphorus when the ground is frozen, when the turf grass is dormant, because they're trying to make an extra buck. That's what it comes down to. And right here, they're saying that Gwen Stanky found in, in, 19, in 2007, 80% of the runoff from turf grass occurred when the soil was frozen. Similarly, Wayne Cuso in 2008 observed that runoff from snow melt on Kentucky bluegrass lawn plots in the upper Midwest accounted for 87% of the total runoff over a six-year period. So when the ground is frozen, there is no penetration of the soil of the soil moisture. There's no water going into the soil. So any liquid, any any water in a liquid form is going to go off the surface. Any of that water that's going off the surface, if it happens to encounter a nutrient or a fertilizer particle or a soil particle or anything else, it's going to go with it. So applying these fertilizers when the ground is frozen in the winter is not a best management practice. It's not. This suggests that best management practices related to snowmelt management should be a higher priority than best management practices related to construction practices in cold climates such as Wisconsin. I don't know how many times I got to circle that statement with my pen here, but I'll do it however long I need to to get people to understand best management practices related to snowmelt management or frozen grounds. They take priority over other best management practices when it comes to nutrients being applied to turf grass when it's frozen. Don't apply it to frozen soil or just before it gets frozen. That's when a lot of problems can occur. And this is how we can get a bad rap on in our industry when people start following sales pitches about applying natural organics or carbon-based products during the winter when the grass isn't growing to feed the soil for a dormant feeding. Do not do that. And there's evidence staring you right in the face as to why I'm saying don't do that. You can have a tremendously negative impact on our ecosystem and only minuscule, small, if any, benefit to the plant. I mean, we're talking, I mean, very small benefits. I don't think you'd probably see anything, but if you did, it'd be very, very slight. And the risk is great, not only to your specific location, but to our industry as a whole.